Hello, and welcome to the Astrolabe tutorial series. In this video, I will show you the Cell Subset Navigator, a composite visualization of experiment data that enables you to pinpoint biologically meaningful insights. But first, just a quick note, we are constantly developing new features, so the current interface may be slightly different from what you see here. First, from my experiment page, I will select the Cell Subset Navigator. The visualization shown here is a multi-dimensional scaling, or MDS map. Each bubble in this map represents a cell subset identified by Astrolabe, and the size of the bubble corresponds to the median frequency of that subset across all samples. I can hover over the bubbles to see subset names, and I can click on them to see a frequency bar chart across all samples, and a Muno heat map across all markers and samples. Another thing I can do with this visualization is color code my bubbles to highlight data I am interested in. For example, if I pick CD3 here, I can see here are my T cells. If I pick CD20, I can see here are my B cells. When I hover over a bubble, I can see its median channel intensity. I can also use differential abundance analysis to color code these subsets using different statistics, such as fold change. If I choose time point, I can see right away that there are some substantial differences between my patients with acute and convalescent infection by looking at the more intense green and red colors, which indicate a greater fold change. If I change my statistic from fold change to minus log 10 of FDR, a statistical significance score, I can easily pick out the most significantly different monocyte subset. If I select the monocyte CD14 positive, CD16 negative here, I can scroll down and see that selection on this volcano plot which compares fold change across the x-axis and minus log 10 of FDR on the y-axis. The monocyte I just selected is highlighted in green. I can also see in this plot that there is a cell subset that is even more statistically significant, the monocyte CD14 positive, CD16 positive. If I select that, it will also be selected in the MDS map. And if I scroll down, I can see the frequency of each of these monocyte subsets across all samples in bar and box plots. Notice the clear differentiation between acute and convalescent samples. I'd like to point out that by using this data representation and a couple button clicks, I can see that Astrolabe has actually reproduced one of the findings of this study, which was a monocyte-driven response to acute infection. I could have guessed that the T-cell population between my acute and convalescent patients would be statistically significant, but Astrolabe is also clearly showing me the less obvious finding, which is the variation in monocyte populations. Please join me in other tutorials where I will discuss the powerful analysis tools within Astrolabe. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at support at astrolabediagnostics.com. Thank you!